So right now, there's no official support for boats in Valkyrian Sky's clockwork, but I think I can make one anyway. Here are three ships I built previously. Let's see if they can float. I'm gonna break the Eureka helm on them because that's currently stabilizing them, and I wanna see what happens when that stabilizing force is removed. So this ship clearly is not stable. Let's move on to the next one and see if it does any better. So this is actually the steamship from my very first video. So far, this one seems to be doing a lot better. It's only tilting a little bit and it seems to be catching itself. Let's head on to the next one. Here's an airship that I've already started to convert to something that should work with clockwork or create aeronautics when that comes out. This one tipped over too. So given what we've just seen, my guess is that we need to give the ships a lower center of gravity so that way they don't tilt over as much. A wider base is probably going to help too. So let's get to work. I tried a few things on my sailing ship to lower the center of gravity, like adding a bunch of ballast underneath. It still tipped over though, so I tried to add even more, but the ship sunk too much. My next step was to try stabilizing my steamship, but I had the same problem and it would always sink. I tried a few things like modifying the shape of the hull, but it never quite worked. So I decided to start from scratch and design a ship that had both a lower center of gravity and a broad base. I then added a small steam engine, just enough for a proof of concept. And then I added everything else it needed to move around. I tested it and it worked. The next step was to add a rudder so I could steer. That worked too. I then made a few modifications, like giving it a bigger propeller for more speed and a larger rudder for better steering. I also added another steering wheel up on top so I could drive my boat while enjoying the view. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might also like this one. And if you'd like to both help me out and always know when I release a new video, then be sure to subscribe and activate notifications. Thank you for watching.